Hi! So this video is just going to be a quick, mostly swatches and slight review on the Romand Juicy Lasting Lip Tints. The shades I have are Fig Fig, Eat Dotori, Jujube, and I also have a Zero Velvet Tint in the shade Joyful. And I just figured I'd make a quick swatch video because I find these really, really helpful when I'm shopping around and I happen to have quite a handful of these now in my collection. I got these all off Yes Style. I have this one full size tube when I found this for between seven and eight dollars on Yes Style. That's like a pretty common price range. And then I also got this super cute mini set. It came in this trio and I think I got these for $17 on Yes Style and Yes Style the prices like range by like plus or minus two three dollars often depending on their like odd sales that are super random but yeah you can definitely find this product for pretty affordable and the minis are much smaller however I have never used up a lip product other than like a lip balm so I'm not worried at all about how much product I get so the juicy lasting lip tint is a really really nice product the color I'm wearing right now is fig fig which is my favorite it looks oddly red right here I think because my lips are a little stained from swatching the other shades but it is just like a really really nice upgraded big girl version of the like lip stains that I feel like K-Beauty started out with years and years ago. The formula is a little bit thicker, it's not really watery, it's more of a gel. It is moisturizing and it can be like sheared out with just one layer or you can really build it up like I did today and get like a really full look. And whether you kind of sheer it out or build it up, they will have a very juicy finish on your lips and yeah it provides like a slight hydration throughout the day and then even after that like shiny layer wears off where I find that this like shiny-ish layer at lasts for at least an hour on me um, there's still like a nice color left behind your lips don't feel dry at all even as it fades it leaves a stain behind so yeah they really are long lasting for sure so fig fig despite what it looks like here it is slightly cooler ish and it's kind of like a a bright like raspberry color yeah raspberry is about right whereas jujube is super super close to fig fig just like a hint warmer, but I definitely don't really feel like I need both of these shades. They're very, very close on the lips. But yeah, if you know that you like either slightly cooler or slightly warmer, I would just go with one of these. And then Eat Dotori is much, much warmer, but it's like the perfect fall shade, honestly. It gives that really nice like kind of burnt orange color if you don't layer it up too much but then if you do layer it up it's really like a, a bright brick red and it is really nice I find these all like super easy to apply um, I didn't apply the best in these swatches necessarily because I uh, wasn't using a mirror so it was pretty tough but I can usually just like slap it on pretty easily with the applicator the like wand dispenses a nice amount of product and then as you can see in the swatches, I think it's easiest if I kind of slap some on haphazardly and then like blend it out with my finger. The product spreads nicely that way and then I can fill in with more product if I want it brighter. Just a bonus swatch since it came in the trio lip set is this Zero Velvet Tint in Joyful and this product is not particularly stand out to me it um it feels a lot like pretty much every other like velvet lip asian beauty product that um is 
kind of on the market lately. This formula is really, really similar to me to the 3CE matte lip products where it doesn't dry down at all, but it does kind of have this like moussey, velvety, almost powdery feel on the lips. Um, spreads really easily, is easy to apply. It doesn't like dry down and suck the like life out of your lips as a traditional liquid lipstick would, but they are a drying formula nonetheless. There's just like no moisture added with this, so if you wear this all day, it's just gonna get kind of drier and drier. But it does have like a very, very beautiful, cushiony, super matte look. I think that this color, Joyful in particular, is really not um, a super unique color. It's like a slightly orangey red, but it's pretty nice. Um, but if you already have like a a matte red in your collection, I don't really think you would need this. So yeah, I hope that these swatches were helpful if you are looking to buy these one of these juicy lasting tints. They're really affordable, the formula is great, super easy for everyday wear, and then even if you want to build it up for like a bolder look, yeah, it's just like a super nice product to have around. Definitely recommend. Thank you for watching.